Hello, hello. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. All right, all right. So, last night between episodes, I solved the mystery. Yep, it was a stupid mystery, too. Remember that case of creeperitis I caught that was making my rear end explode? Turns out, these things don't like being infected. So, I just remade my casts, and that solved everything. So, all we need to do now is... Connect the pipeline. And all of a sudden... Oh yes, I also built a pollution filter for this thing. And I laid down some grass to clean up that little cloud of pollution. Hello, computer wizard. Yes, I know. Creeperitis. Uh. But yes, all we need to do now is connect up our liquid metal to the casts. And look at that. We have resources coming on in. And very, very quickly, too. And that means that the liquid inside of our smelteries is draining out. Which means that once more, these smelteries are now emptying out, which means that this box is emptying out, which means that our excavator and crusher are running intermittently, as quickly as the smelter can output. If we just watch it for a few minutes, we'll see that eventually... As soon as it finishes a smelt, this should turn on for just a few seconds, refilling everything in the box. Come on, what's taking you? Yep, it's just that brief. You heard the crusher running. It looks like the excavator is not running yet. Yep, it only runs very, very rarely. So, now all this is filling up, all we need to do is finish the input line, or the output line, I should say, going back to the base. And yes, I did finish that. I, I just finished that up. Actually, looking at it, these need iron pipes. Yes, these need iron pipes to get them going back properly. Um, otherwise, there's a chance that if I extend the pipeline, it could be confused as to which direction it needs to go. And in one case, it already would be confused. And it would be sending iron any which way, and it would be getting confused, and it might be spitting some of it out onto the ground. Um, because it is more easily extendable, because it is uh, more possible to prevent overflows with this. With... With immersive engineering conveyor belts, I think they can be turned off with redstone, but I think that also means that the items are still just as entities sitting on top of the conveyor belt. So when the conveyor belt is stopped, eventually you lose everything on it. I think, anyway. Oh, the fluid pipes? Um... That is simply so that... Oh. Huh. Do I need to make a separate line for each of the smelteries? A separate vent line for each of the... Is it not kosher just having them both sitting on there? Um, but anyway, yes. That's simply to make it visible what fluid is in there. Also, build craft pipes are faster. But yes, yes, yes. Let's make our iron pipes on these iron pipes will force items to always go down one direction and then they will always go down the clear direction so that'll be more easily visible on this one but just take that yeah see so when items come down off of this one which i believe is the iron one they will enter into this pipe and they will go okay i can't go this way i have to go this way and likewise, when they come down from this pipe, they'll go, okay, I can't go this way, I have to go this way. And they all get forced down the line into the proper direction. So now, all I need to do is finish moving my... Uh, who knows? 
who knows why things are the way they are. So I just need to finish running my redstone cable, which I also more or less finished. And I think I should be able to just put a connector right next to each of these things and immediately just run cable on over. And this will link my control system into them. So if I just take my ham bar, then I should be able to right click these into outputs. And I'm keeping them just on white signal for now just to run a test. So do I have any levers on me? I do. Okay, this is a white signal input. Those others are white signal outputs. If I put a redstone signal on this, then I look. Can it read the redstone from there? Yes, it can. So, and if I turn that off, that stops signal. All right, so I want this to say when redstone signal off, power pulse. And you, on the other hand, why aren't you reading redstone? Oh, you're not reading redstone because you're off. Yeah. And see, also that test that it turns off. Yep. So, when redstone signal off, power pulse. That's good. That, that'll, that'll run those back and that should show that it's reaching the silo anyway. So then I need to figure out what color these have to be. Let's take the redstone lever off. There we go. And if we follow our input line back to base. Oh, it's okay, computer wizard. Can't let those chickens go hungry. Yup, look at that. All the way back into the silos. So, iron will be orange and nickel will be purple. I might combine these into one color later. That might be more efficient, but for now we'll see if we actually need to do that. Ah, but yes, isn't this a beautiful sight? Our first item in output line just chunk full of items. Yes. Ah, yes, but, but this is another thing, uh, Prince. I used... I used Billcraft pipes simply because I don't like conveyor belts as much. I don't like that I would need to create custom pipes for... Let's turn that weather sound down. Even though it's already down at 5%. That doesn't sound any quieter. Alright, let's... Try this. That's a bit better. But yeah, I, I don't like that I would need, like, vertical line, horizontal line. I like that buildcraft pipes are a lot more flexible. It's easier to make pass-unders and pass-throughs like this. I, I just like buildcraft pipes more. And they're dirt cheap. Conveyor belts cost leather. And that can be a bit problematic right now. Anyway, anyway. Da, 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 da. So, set this to orange, set this to magenta. Oh, well let us know, computer wizard, let us know. We are, I am waiting on bated breath. What shall be the name of this wonderful project of yours? Okay. I, I don't know if that word actually means anything. But yes, let's give this a test. So if I turn this off for like one, two, three, four, five, then this off for one, two, three, four, 
five. Then we should see in the pipe that eventually, yep, there it goes. Nickel stops, but iron keeps on going. And then we get only nickel for five seconds. Excellent. So, you know, we can actually potentially use this to make a, well, this is kind of a control center for the base, isn't it? Yeah, I can effectively control... Well, that's also really slow. Hmm. I could change the... I, I could run these redstone wires down on over into the system and modify the logic so that I can use these for as manual shutoff for all the systems. But... It's also running so rarely, just as it is. It's running more rarely than it should, really. Hmm. I guess it's because the... I guess it's because the crusher is so full. Anyway, yeah, let's take a look at that pollution problem that was happening. Where it looked like the smelter was... Sometimes generating extra blokes of uh, pollution. I guess that the problem could be that maybe sometimes it's generating too much pollution and it clogs the vent and it backs up. So, do I have any additional, yeah, vents and chimneys in here? So then if I just, oof, if I just fall into the crusher for a moment as a blood sacrifice, then maybe if I do that. One more for luck. No, I need I need a third vent for that. Let's see if that prevents any. Let's just watch this for a minute. Peridolia. Ah. I actually know what that word means. That is the uh that's the brain's facial recognition system getting a false positive, isn't it? Like seeing faces in the dunes on Mars or in the clouds or in the static on TVs and stuff like that, right? That's a pretty nice name. I think that usually the place where you see pareidolia is, or pareidolia or however it's pronounced, is like in, in those ghost hunting type TV shows where like they are seeing the TV in the low res static of their of their uh, security cameras and stuff like that. So if you're doing a lot of spooky supernatural stuff in your pack, that would be a really great name for it. At least that's what my mind goes to as an association. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's looking like this system is running just fine. It also looks like it's running out of liquid really k really fast. Like maybe I need to make these smelteries taller in order to uh get them smelting faster. Um I'll probably be tweaking this a lot. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see if the output chest empties out completely. Essentially, I want this timed so that those pulsers are operating just at scale, where uh, it, it's only just um, finishing one batch of iron in the time it takes for the other one to come in, so that this thing just runs constantly and smoothly. Seriously, though, that excavator should be running. Hmm. Oh, you know what it is? It's out of power. It's out of power. That's the problem. I turned my diesel generator off.
Hmm. Hmm, that's laggy. That's laggy as hickey. Why are you laggy? Okay, but yeah, now the chest is filling up once more. And once that pressure rises, we should see this shut off on its own. Because that excavator is going to be producing way faster. That excavator crusher combo, I should say, is going to be producing way faster than the smelteries can handle. Let alone faster than our... Uh, our single pulse or pipe can export. So eventually this thing should lock up and start stutter producing. Uh, yes, those pulsers are an enhanced version of the redstone engines that run more stupidly. Essentially, they operate the same way. It's just that they don't take up a space. They are operating the same, the same block space as the pipe. And they can be controlled by gate logic. See? Wind blue signal, start the pulser. Mind you, they can also be run completely without logic. These pulsers that I have over here are simply right-clicked to turn them on constantly because I never want them off. However, these pulsers over here are only operating when there is room in the system for new items. And uh, pulsers are very cheap too. If you have lasers already, then all you need to make a pulser is two more pieces of iron and one of those redstone engines, and it just essentially enhances it into something much more useful and, in my opinion, much sexier. But yes, there we are. Now... Now the system is locked up because there is no space in the system. This chest is full, which is causing this logic gate to realize that, well, it's almost full. It's 75% full because crushers would just output out into the world and cause lag and waste resources otherwise. So that's causing this signal to turn off. And up here, I have a logic gate saying that if blue or white, which is white is just this chest over here. So if blue or white, if not blue or white, I should say, redstone signal on, which causes the uh, excavator to turn off when there is no room in the crusher chest or when there is no room in the output chest for the excavator itself as a backup. Oh, well, later game is probably going to look like is probably going to look like uh, thermodynamics pipes everywhere because buildcraft pipes are. Um, I have to go out of my way with the lasers and stuff to make them smart. End game is going to look like a mess. End game is going to look like a mess. Yeah, end game is going to look like a mess, you say. Uh-huh. Sure. But yeah, look at that. Just in the time that I've been derping and debugging, we've already got like 10 stacks of iron and nickel in. That's beautiful. So... Now, I think that I'm going to want to reassemble that old pump jack that we took down. And start getting my copper in. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, yep. Yep, I hears ya. I hears ya. Yeah, I think I'll keep wood there. But... Wait, did I forget... What the heck happened to my... I thought I placed all these back here. My item frames got messed up somehow. Huh. Well, I want to rearrange these anyway. I want to rearrange these. So. Let's see here. Mm, let's just pick up more item frames from the item frame store.
I don't know where they went off to. So I'm gonna need, yeah, these ones too. What the heck happened? Something happened that screwed up my item frames. And it wasn't me, I swears. Okay, so I think I'm gonna move copper over here and glowstone and redstone over here because these are gonna be the most important things most immediately for automation. And then I'm gonna just move Let's see, that's tin, that'll be aluminum. Yeah, I guess I might as well. No, I want I want silt down here. So clay, sand. Ah uh, yes, I, I restocked the tripes. I also moved the crude oil pump jacks because we sucked that teat dry. Uh, so I just moved them to a new spot a couple chunks over. Do I not have any gravel? Huh. Okay. If I don't have any gravel, that's an easy enough fix. We'll just... Oh, wait. Yeah, that compactor doesn't work on that, does it? No, it does. It do. Okay, and then we'll have, is that tin? No, that's aluminum. So we'll have aluminum there, tin there, and that's good enough for now. I don't want to spend forever futzing through this. I'll figure out, like, what the heck went wrong there, and I'll replace all my item frames between episodes when, when you don't need to see me futzing. Yeah, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Bizarre. Um, tragedy that it wasted some of those. Okay, so now we need to make a uh, make an additional silo because I'm just gonna get some more resources in. I think today, uh, I think I'm going to go for making all those pump jacks out there, all those liquid resources. So I thought I had more sheet metal than this. Huh? I guess not. Well, good thing that we currently have iron coming in, huh? So if I just take... For now, I'm just going to put a chest on it, I think. Am I out of chest in my bag? Yeah, I guess I am. Okay, do I have any iron nuggets anywhere? Yeah, I've got a few. All right, we just need to stock it up on wood, which I should have some in storage. Not much. Hmm. Right, because that ran out of saw blade while it was processing more stuff. That'll make me five chests real quick, though. Just like so. And... I'm just going to lazily put some levers on here as an immediate output. Just so that we can access our resources more easily. And... Yeah, let that fill up for a moment. Oh, you know what this also means? Now that we have 
iron coming in very cheap and very plentiful. We can just drag a couple of stacks of iron over to the Normans, and we can finally get the town all the way finished. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let those let those get lesser used pipes not sit in my bag. Let's keep those in storage. I want chests, though. I want chests, pollution mechanic movers. I think everything else is all stuff that I'm content keeping in my bag. So yeah, that just opens up a couple of slots. One of them which is going to be filled with hoppers eventually. Alright, so do I have a little bit of iron to play with yet? Good. Let's just start to smelt that. Hmm? Oh, blood. How did blood get left in this smeltery? Not sure. Weird stuff is going on today. That's another thing, though. Now that I have gates, I can uh, ensure that the blood bank is never empty. And I can auto-extract from it. So maybe I should run a line over here and get a tank of blood sitting in my storage. Just a full dang tank of blood. Yeah, that might be nice. Little bit of extra blood. Oh well. All right. So, start outputting all this. And getting all our iron out into sheets. Because, yes, we are going to want to start making lots, lots more silos. Lots more silos. That also means that we're going to need more treated wood fences. Hmm. Hmm. You know, let's make a basic automation for creosote oil. Yeah, let's do that right away. Because I don't think I'm going to build any more coke ovens. I'm just going to let the really basic one that we have... Just the single one that we have do its work. And that'll be really slow. So the sooner we automate it, the better. The sooner, the better. That sounds like a plan to me. I've always had wonkiness whenever I try and manually install Minecraft mod packs anyway. So I would appreciate it. But yeah, in my free time, I'll gladly do a little bit of beta testing for you. And maybe we'll do a feature of it on the channel. Like when you're... When you think it's fit for... Public consumption. Hmm. And you know what? I don't think diesel has any crafting uses. I think I don't want diesel sitting up in my base. So let's kind of flip this pipe around and drain as much of this diesel back into the system as we can. So just over on there. We can then remove that. Turn that 
old redstone engine into a pulsar. Because they're more sexy anyway. And get this tank emptying out. Those are... Uh, yeah, we're going to need more wool for that. Yeah, let's empty this out real quickly. And I think I'll use this tank for storing creosote. Wait, this one. Oop. There we go. Yeah, pulsers are real cheap on the laser front. But yes, I'll, I'll show you where the pump jacks got moved to real quick. Just over on here. And I've noticed that pump jacks continue pumping regardless of if they actually have space for liquid output or not. So I built a real quick control system for this one. That is a build craft tank down there. It is saying wind tank is full emit signal. And over here we have just wind blue signal activate redstone. And that means that because right now the only consumption we have is our uh, buildcraft fuel production, these things are running relatively rarely and relatively. See, they're off, they're off, they're off. It'll it'll flicker on for just a second whenever the next... There it goes. Just... And that's how often these things are running. So they are sipping a very tiny amount of power and causing minimum disruption to the life of the villagers in their nuke position. Just, uh... Yeah, real, real minimal. They don't mind it at all. It's fine. But yeah, that, that was just, that wasn't really building any new infrastructure. That was just moving infrastructure I already had and building a little bit more utilidor. I didn't think that needed to be uh, something that, you, that was done on screen. Uh, but yes, you can see here that um, this is another thing. This is another reason why I like build craft pipes a lot more. These things tend to bug out. You can't tell what specific fluid is in the pipe. And any time that you are moving it into a new container, you need an entire build craft, uh, an entire industrial engineering pump, immersive engineering pump dedicated to the process. Immersive engineering pumps require two blocks. Uh, at, at least when you're moving at least when you're moving from tanks into pipes, you don't need power on these things. That's at least nice. But yes, I think just build craft pipes are just sexier all around. Is the long and short of it there. Okay, I haven't seen any new pollution rising up from this system here. It looks like double layering the vents and chimneys has more or less solved it. And yeah, I'm going to have to build those smelteries taller. The system is a bit too slow. Okay, okay. How's that tank doing, is it? It's still emptying out. It'll be a moment. How is our new sheet metal doing? Yeah, yes, let's also decide on a place for our new coke oven automation. So I'm going to need two hoppers. Use hoppers for everything. They are the safe, sane, and consensual way of ensuring safe input and output. Going to need two pieces of glue and a little bit of wood. just into the carpet. I need to replace my artisan tools. I do not want to lose access to the joys of this carpenter, but it's fine. So, how's our sheet metal doing? Let's put in a little bit more iron. Let's make more sheet metal. Yeah. So, da, 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 da. yep. We're already building up a nice stock. It is emptying out that silo gradually, but 
that'll stop when the chest fills up. It's just a little bit of extra buffer storage. I can't really put a chest on there. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that um, without quests, a mod pack feels kind of naked, doesn't it? Like part of part of the point of playing mod of Minecraft is to have proper goals in your life. I think it's it's having it, it's having more goals than just defeat the Ender Dragon, you know. It's having a direction in life when you're playing Minecraft. Okay, that's running. Yep. Buildcraft pipes are still just a little slow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be a good place for it. Just like right. Hmm. Need more chests. But like right here will be fine. One, two. Yeah, that's kind of partially blocking. Oh. Forgot to take down the remnants of the lava fountain. Alright. Coke oven. And it's not sexy, but I think I can just run some vents over to one of our existing pollution filters. Just save myself a little bit of infrastructure building. So if I just uh, take these. Make some more vents. Remember to hit this with a hammer first. Actually, yeah, maybe that's a better position would be over here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. This isn't exactly a complex multi-block to move. Yeah, and there's space, like, exactly here. So if I just... There. There. And then we can start it up, like... There. And then that'll give us... Just a single vent right there should link it into the pollution system for the lava machine. Oh, it fits so snugly. Snugly. Beautiful. All right. And hit it with a hammer. And then we just need to give it a input chest. Like, right up, I don't know, here? Sure. And now all we need is some liquid outputs and 
it looks like we now have a nice empty tank of diesel to help us accomplish that. So... If I take off this pipe, it'll waste a minor amount of diesel if I empty out this pipe because it's still emptying it out into that tank, but that's okay. That is all right. Now, I might need some more build craft pipes than this, depending on what I have in storage. I guess I'm gonna need Pulsar. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. Gonna need just a little more than that. Let's just make that many. Just like so. Do I have any pipe sealant in storage? No, but I have some blood, and blood effectively is pipe sealant. And there we go. That should do. So now, if I put... Like right... Nia. And then start running it down. Now where is that hole I just poked in the ceiling? That's like right over there. All right, I also need to Sort out where my final destination is. We'll just run that down that way. Ah, so cold. I don't want to put like a more insulated suit on. Let's just turn it daytime. That should help a little bit. So if it goes... Where are you? Okay, it's going to need protection from this pipe here. So it needs a plug there, plug there. Then it can just go down. Plug there. Run it. Also plug there. I don't know if that would connect, but I don't want to risk it. Plug there. And connect. Now it just needs that pulser. Which is up on the top side. Ah, it already has. Okay, so now all it needs is something to burn into creosote. Which, I think wood is still the cheapest. So, let's go cut down a sequoia and just pile up a bunch of wood in there for it. Oops. Got this. Also, why do I have my money out? And we can just throw that out. Hm. Well, you know, you just need black cats. That's the solution. You have black cats, you won't need to worry about all that anymore, huh? Huh? There's your... Ah, yes, also, the cow farm, for whatever reason, when I brought my tripes, they were loaded with bones. So I just jumped on that opportunity. Yeah, the cow farm has been filling up. I think it might be because the glass people haven't had any... Uh... Oh, dear. Pollution is still building up over there. Hmm. Hmm.
Yeah, autocorrect sucks. Autocorrect sucks big chunks. Let's see here. I should have some bone meal still in the old... In this old crusher chest. Yeah, let's just throw together a redwood real quick. Sequoia, whatever it's called. And take our invulnerable Mr. Lumberjack out. Ah, uh, that, that doesn't help, too, yeah. Alrighty, then. And... Oops. Did taking the axe out of my hand break it? Oh, well. Easy fix. Get showered in wood. Been a while since we had a good old-fashioned wood shower. Just bathe in all that sweet wood. Ah, yes, put this in our hand. Sweet wood and experience. Experience the wood. Yes. Wonderful. Beautiful. Alrighty then. Yes, this should make a nice, goodly amount of creosote oil. <laughs> Is it really sus when I'm being blatantly obvious about it? That isn't sus, that's confirmed. Okay, keep those arrows in our hands for a few minutes while they regenerate. But yeah, we can put the lumberjack axe away. And just let that kind of deconstruct itself over a few minutes. Let those leaves... Ah, uh -huh, yes, everyone knows the meme. Yeah. Well, I don't have a silt excavator yet, and I probably won't have a silt excavator for a little while, because silt is so much slower than every other resource. You've seen the automatic the automatic control system I've made for the iron over there. That allows it to run so slowly. It only runs when it's needed. Let's turn this off for a few minutes, just because we are burning through our fuel. And that means that it's very, very efficient in terms of how many diesel generators we have to build. And right now I only have the one, so that's very nice. Um, I think I won't have a silt excavator going until I have biodiesel up, simply because it is going to essentially require a dedicated uh, generator all on its own. Yes, if we just throw this all in here. That should have our creosote burning and eventually finding its way down into its new home. Yes, we'll just have to let that run once and then we'll see where it goes. Uh, what can I sacrifice? I can sacrifice a little bit of egg. I can sacrifice... I can sacrifice an apparently infected piece of gunpowder. Uh, 
All right, and did that creosote find its way up into the tank? It do, all right. So we'll gradually fill up with a ton of creosote oil and we'll start piping it to where it needs to go. You know what? Maybe rather than storing this in this here barrel, maybe I'll move over my designer table and have that acting as the storage system for this. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Because I'm going to need to start building those, um, those, um, blueprints pretty soon. And that also requires creosote oil. Oh, boy. Okay, do I have... Yeah, we need to make a new saw blade. There's nothing for it but to do a cog dance. Oh, we already have a stone. Okay, cool. So then it's going to be those. It's going to be those. Four of those. As well as four of those. I don't know why it sometimes refuses to shift click. Four. No. And then those. And finally, those. And from there, we can just run through the saw dance quick as you please. And that should last for a little while. Ah, good. I still had some in there. Excellent. All right. Yeah, I think I like that idea. I like that idea of using my designer table. So let's empty out this barrel just because there's not going to be much use for it. And I'm going to need more wood than that. All right. And we're going to have to spaghetti over a creosote line. But that is a problem that we can solve shortly. In the meantime, let's go and get the thing. Get the thing to do stuff. Hmm. It's only very rarely missing a pollution block on this thing. It's very close to running. Maybe another layer of vent and chimney? Maybe. Maybe. Pollution is definitely... How pollution and vents interact is definitely the most mysterious mechanic to me that I'm using right now. It requires much more experimentation and science. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put those into the storage system. Okay. So then I just need this thinger. Yep. Because we are going to be making blueprints on this thing pretty shortly when we get to when we get to artisan automation. So we might as well start uh, we, we might as well have it sitting here just as our crafting table. I'm also going to need to make another one of these things for uh, design purposes, but that'll be later. All right, the tools. Doop and doop. There we go. All right. Is this thing... Has this thing completely empty out its XP tank? No, not yet. It's still draining. Yeah, moss. 
Moss really isn't all that wonderful. It's so slow. Oh, right, right, right. Top side. Need top side first in order to set up how it'll drain. Uh, okay, I have one of those. My last pipe pulser for now. And a little bit of fluid pipe. Gonna need more. That is not a fluid extraction pipe. All right. There we go. Now, eh, let's just run it forward a little bit. There we go. Also, dupe. At least the discarded building blocks tell us where to where to go. Okay, so right away I can see that we're going to need to plug on this. Hmm. Where's our goal? So, plugs down there. Hmm? Is that not the spot? That is not the spot. Never mind. Uh, da, 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 da. There's the spot. Okay, so... Where, where was it? It should just be a little short pipe coming down off here. Yep. Okay, I can't lower that anymore without knocking out a power line, so I need to run it over here. And that makes it a little bit more distinctive so I won't get lost in my own damn base again. And... Really? I don't need to run it very far at all. Okay. So then... Hmm. Okay. It's a bit derp having to, like, plug every space on it, pretty much, but... There we go. There we go. So then we can take this off. And I still have free walking space down here. Nice. I guess that all that they need to do is have some is have some button run it to make sure it doesn't crash and doesn't contain like a Trojan or something. And there we go. We have creosote oil coming in. And this will serve also as just a tank for manual use with our carpenter. And there we have creosote oil, kind of uh, semi-automatic. I'll still need to chunk in a big pile of trees every once in a while, and it is still, of course, very slow. Hmm. Well, congratulations on getting approved that quick and easy, then. That is good news. But yeah, in the future, maybe I'll want to make a more robust production system. But we don't use creosote oil that often. It's more just having a storage system and having it uh, ready for when we do need it. That is the issue here. And getting it to where we need it. 
so, 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 so. I imagine that our sheet metal is long done. Yup, yup. Alrighty then. So, let's just... Oh. You know what? I mentioned doing it. Let's get the Normans some some yummy yummy iron. Just a however many stacks we hit can fit in our bag right now. That'll do. Yep, let's finally 100% the village. While we're in the mindset of just doing kind of maintenance-y things, little side quests. Alrighty then. So empty out our bag, get our money pouch out. And sell them a bunch of iron. That'll finish off the walls. And that will mean that the village is finally 100% complete. And that's a bittersweet feeling, isn't it? That might be literally the last thing I ever need to do in the village. Because now... The only other thing, the only other real use I have for millionaire is, uh, well, no, no, no. I'll, I'll be back to buy food sooner or later, I'm sure, because tripes are just too good to be denied. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. That pollution cloud. Can I make some more vents or something? Have I got any... Yeah, a little bit. So then, into our mason's workshop. Just build some additional chimneys. Turn that into a couple vents. And let's build just a third layer onto it. And let's see if that stops any more pollution from coming out. We'll keep half an eye on that system. So chimney, vents, and vents. Okay, hopefully that's enough to suck every bit of pollution out of the entire system and give it enough space to vent. Or was the problem that the pollution was like rebounding off of this thing when it was clogged? Hmm. Could be that I need to, like, take my building blocks and, like, build a little crown on this thing, a little trap to prevent any spare pollution from getting out the sides. That could be it, too. Well, we shall wait and see. But hopefully this should be a zero pollution system. Why is pollution going up over there? Was that the creosote? What was that? That looked like it might have been this system over here. Was it conflicting with the creosote oven? Too much pollution? Hmm. Well, if we give it just another vent, 
And that should act as additional buffer space, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Could be that this is too dense and the creosote oven is going to need its own, uh, its own pollution filter. All right. So, 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 so. We have creosote coming in and we can make some fences to make that silo, finally. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked by a million different things, of course, as you do. So, da 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 da. Da da. Da da da. And then we just need a little bit of creosote. Which is still building up in our system a little bit. Oh. Da da da. Yeah, we're also going to need more ash pretty soon. Shouldn't I have some in storage? Yeah, there we go. Ah, power. Power! Yeah, I need to... I needs to make that biodiesel system so I can have a power system that's just always on. Mm. So the current plan in terms of tasks is I am going to make some, I'm going to get the basic resources in. I'm going to get copper and steel in from pump jack uh, mines. And from that, I should have everything I need to start um, to start making some basic automation. Just get some engineering blocks going. And hopefully that should be enough to make making a uh, biodiesel setup much easier. Okay, you've got to be out of your XP by now. Yep, there we go. All right, there are some fences for me. And from here, ah, uh, yes, I'm also. You remember that box of cinnabar that I dug up, that I that I left from the first excavator? I'm just gonna build a crusher on site over there, crush that up. That should result in like a couple, I don't know, maybe two thousand ish redstone or so. That should be enough to just uh, build some engineering blocks, regardless. It'll be quite a bit. But yes, now is the time to expand the silo line. And start building properly to scale. Alrighty then. Hammer. And let's just remind us that this is going to be copper. Now, more sheet metal. More sheet metal. Hmm. Gonna need those artisan tools pretty soon. Come on. Uh, 
you know, even more sheet metal. Yeah, I'm going to be building two of them. That also means I'm going to need more fencing. There we go. Alrighty then. And there we go. All right. Definitely going to have the pattern for a silo engraved on my soul by the end of this. Well, then again, I'm not counting how far up it goes. I'm just judging it visually based on the top of the other silos. So this is mostly a mindless process. Alright, let's just put that away for now. And we can put some redstone marker right there. And also glowstone. Alright, one more. Did I not? I guess I did not. How's our creosote doing? It's building. Bit by bit, it's building. Eventually, we'll reach a point where, like, we're doing something else for a few hours and that'll just build up a mass reserve of creosote. Alright. There we go. Alright, so, I uh, guess we're also going to need one for steel, aren't we? And in fact, that should be right next to the iron... No, I guess I can put it next to the redstone. No, it should be right next to the iron, because eventually we're going to want to produce it on site rather than producing it from a little alloy well that won't last for very long. All right, so move our signs over. Come on. Stupid mass not working in real time. So yeah, we need to move this down. So I need this, this, this. And this will be glowstone. This will be copper. Then this will be redstone. And the next one will be glowstone. Just do a couple of flips out of sheer joy. And this one will be steel. Which we can just grab a piece of. There we go. And now we just need one more set of sheet metal to make one more set of silo. Go. Okay. Oh. The heck? Sheet metal. Lag spike from JEI. Huzzah. Oh, it's diagonal. The Yeah. 
And there we go. Just down the line. And... Uh, dip. And there we go. Uh, the line. And top it off. And then we can just give it the marker for glowstone and smack it with a hammer. And there we go. That should be everything that we're gonna be doing immediately laid out. All right, all right, so. Now I'm gonna need some more pipe in order to keep on running down the line. And yeah, I'm gonna need to, let, let's build the pump jack first. Let's build the pump jack back up first. So we have our pump jack in a box somewhere over here. That's you, correct? Now, where was copper? This is aluminum. That's not what I want right away. Is this the old copper? This is the old copper. This one right here. I don't think I want it facing that way. Thankfully, the utilidor is already right here. And running on down to the logistics system shouldn't be too hard either. So we mostly just need to lay this old pump jack out and get her going. Okay, so it's that and that, as well as our NG blocks. Why do I have seared bricks? Okay. Let's just take out our engineering book and let's figure out how we want to get this thing facing. So I think I want the output facing that way. Oh wait, it has output on both sides, doesn't it? Where's the chunk border? Chunk border is right here. Hmm. Okay, so I just uh, want my output right here where I already have my... My, uh... Okay, so... The light engineering block is where the power output be. Hmm. Then, yeah, that's just kind of how it has to be. It has to be right here. So one, two, three, and then there will be a single line of blocks right there. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can work with it. Let's just see if we can make it work. Okay, and then I'm also gonna need the fence posts. Just up on there. There we go. And then I believe it's a redstone here. The heavies there. Ah, uh, yes, and also, how dare I forget the three last scaffoldings over there. Now, should be. I'm gonna need more than three sheet metal. Yeah, I needed four. Where'd the fourth one go? No idea. Let's go pick up a replacement. Ugh. 
Oof. Yeah, let's turn that off. We're going to need more wool. But I should have some steel sheet metal, shouldn't I? Hmm, I guess not. I don't even think I even have any steel plate. Ah, oh, I have some. Yeah, bizarre that it went missing. Oh well. Then I believe it went like one, two, three, four. And then two of those. Like so. And that should be a pump jack. What do you know? It's a pump jack. All right. So now we need to figure out how we're going to make an output system for this thing in the space that we have available, which I don't think I can do. So we'll just make it on this side. Yep, it's fine. I don't want to move this thing. So All right, I should make the control system for this thing too. Right. So I'm going to need a build craft tank and uh, an immersive engineering because I don't I don't think metal barrels work not unless I'm using all build craft pipe which I could do yeah I could do um, because the problem with with metal barrels is they seem to only gates only seem to read them on their actual input and output sides and they can only have input and output sides on their top and bottom. So, you need to use buildcraft pipes with them in order to make them work, then, because there's just no space otherwise. But that's an easy enough task. So, if I just dip, dip, dip. Yeah, artisan's tools are taking a beating. Gonna need to replace those. Keep on running past it. Should stop doing that. All right, so. I do believe that these will auto output into buildcraft pipes, won't they? Let's see, let's give it some power and see. So if I take HV connector, HV relay, and a couple of wire coils, and just get this thing back on the power grid, and actually get some power in the grid. Yep, it poompin'. It's a poompin'. Then we should see, yep. Okay, cool. So then I'll put a barrel on there and switch that. While they only exist on the top and bottom, you can still switch them around. So switch that to input and then make an output here. And that should also auto output into a pipe, shouldn't it? It do, great. So then I can just lay out my casting tables. Two, three. Five. Six. Perfect. Two, 
two, three, four, five. I'm thinking out six because I found in testing that uh, six tables is about as many as you can have before the hoppers can't really keep up with it. More than that, and it'll start backing up. So six is about is about as long as you want to make your uh, lines of casting tables for ingots. So then I think I had this over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And I did not bring a chest into here, did I? I don't have a chest on me. Lovely. Let's go get one. Okay, I should have some more wood built up by now. Yep. Let's just make us a nice bundle of chests. Does anyone know if there is a proper collective noun of chests? Like uh, like how you have a flock of birds or a, uh, a murder of crows. Does anyone know what the thing for chests is? Hmm. Mystery. Let's store these over here. And I will promptly forget that they ever exist, of course. Sheet metal. This goes into logistics. Keep that on me. Um, don't want to keep this fluid pipe. Needs more power. Need that biodiesel system. Need a lot of things. That's the other thing. When we start making the biodiesel system, the um, the side product of it will be wool, because we'll be using we'll be using hemp to make hemp seeds for the seed oil part of biodiesel. And hemp fiber will come out as a side product of that, and we'll just be crafting all of that into wool. Okay, there's a nice pile of chests. Of which we need one right now. Okay. Oof, dead crowd today. So just put this at the end of the line. Relay out everything. <laughs> well, I asked a question. Do you know if there is a collective noun of chest? Like how there is flock of geese, murder of crows... Pack of dogs or wolves. I'm not asking about tech mods. I'm asking about grammar. Which, I mean, I guess it's okay if you don't know either. Okay, so, 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 so. Now, if I put... Yeah, I guess it technically works, kinda, I guess. All right, all right, all right. So now, if I switch back to structural pipes, pipe wire, let's use an AND gate on this, yeah. So run this over here, put an AND gate on here. So where's the chunk board? It doesn't matter. These are both going to be loaded chunks. Speaking of, have I loaded this chunk? Yes, I have. Cool. 
All right, so it's okay if we work across chunk borders on this one. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna put a gate on here. It can be an and, it can be any old gate on here. That I just want a reader on this one. But our main goal is gonna be to run off this one here. I like it, cluster, yeah, that works. Okay, so if I say, yeah, there we go. So, west side, top side, thank you. Okay, so if tank on top side is full, then emit blue signal. Okay, run that down the line, and yes, you can cross pipe signal just over small gaps. Oh, create, I've never played with create. And I've kind of wanted to, because it looks very promising. All right, so, wind blue signal, emit redstone, as well as, just as a backup over here, we're going to uh, get our white wire out. Start running that over. And we're going to say wind chest is more than 75% full or less than 75% full. Emit white. Yeah. So over on here, we're going to say that... And this needs to actually be an or gate. Yeah, not and or. Well, am I right in my hypothesis that a wrench can take a gate off? No, it's not looking like it. Shift left click? No. Uh, can a gate copier take a gate off safely? No, not looking like it. Well, we just need to deconstruct the pipe. Oh well. So, blue wire white wire, and this needs to be an OR gate, not an AND. Okay, so if white signal is off, or if blue signal is on, emit redstone. There we go. And now we should see that when I turn the power back on, I imagine that the pump jack is gonna fill up the, fill up the barrel faster than it can output into the casting tables. Let's see here. Oh, uh, no, it's limited by the build crab pipe, isn't it? No, no, it's just outputting faster than it can stand. Okay, well, let's test the system by just taking off the output pipe. So that's filling up with copper. Just glooping on up, and when that is all 12 buckets full, it should immediately shut off. Ha! Yes, you definitely don't want to have a single mod more than that. Then you'll just have to, you'll have to justify the crime against sexiness. Okay, watch it, watch it. As soon as it hits 12, it shuts off. Excellent. And yeah, without that control, it would just keep on pumping and pumping and pumping pointlessly. So, now, I just need to figure out how to get this, hmm, need to get this into the logistics system now. Let's turn off our power for the moment. Aww. 
your your system your system can't handle can't handle too many mods. Where did Spurt and get cast from? Oh, it's because it used to have eight. Yeah, it used to have eight. Well, we'll put this over in miscellany. It's fine. Waste not. Well, there's a problem with that. The problem is that comparators cost these circuit plates. Yeah, only like 10 stacks of sand. Sand, which I can't easily get right now. I need that silt excavator in order to get lots of sand. And I don't really want that silt excavator going until... No, that would not work. Because the beach sand is not Minecraft sand. It's some... Let me show you. It's some, like, bullshit sand. Well, I don't know where it is. I don't know which of these sections is Minecraft sand. I can't visually see, like, it. which one is obviously the one. So, yeah. It's just gonna wait for now. That's also... Work on our anti-pollution system over here. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Exactly, very hard to tell. Yes, yeah, so let's just work on the pollution cleanup up here. Cut the grass so that more can grow. And eventually, hopefully, if this thing is not spitting out more pollution, this area will be cleaned up. All right, now back to the task at hand, which is getting our copper into the logistics system. Can I pick up a torch from somewhere? Hmm. Well, I'll consider it. I will consider it. But yeah, having a comparator on that diesel engine would definitely be helpful. Just so it's easier to run. Speaking of... Oh. Speaking of, thank you for reminding me that I need to pick up some more wool for it. But yeah, I definitely wish that Buildcraft Gates could read capacitors. That would make my life so much easier, but it's just not to be just yet. And yeah, I'm also going to need comparators for my silos in the end. Yeah, I know, I know. Loot crates are kind of... We're past that point. Well, I might, I might dig up some loot crate for some easy bronze before I get it automated. Those bronze gears are nice, you know? Okay, old man. You got anything for us? He doesn't really. Hmm. Also, wake up. It's daytime. Dude. Oops. Right, I forgot to take out my money. There we go. And not much. Mm, really, really hungry for that biodiesel system with the with the auto hemp. Mm. But I would like to I would like to get at least the basic engineering blocks automated first, just to make that easier to build, because that is going to require a ton of engineering blocks. Um, oh, Geolosis. Ah, yeah. Well, no, I, I, I don't really have much trouble with bronze right now. And I have a couple of liquid tin veins somewhere anyway. So if I need to, if I need to get tons of bronze, then I can just use that for my alloying.
Okay, there we go. That should last it for a little while. But in the meantime, in the meantime... Okay, yeah, I'm going to need more pipe than that. Okay, do I have any sand on hand to turn into glass? I've got a little bit. As well as some gold to make some more pipes. I got a little bit. There we go. And yeah, let's just make all of it. All right, so I'm also gonna need my diamond pipes. So that's gonna be steel, copper, redstone, glowstone. Also need to poke those holes in the bottom. Hello, welcome back, computer wizard. You've not missed you you've not missed much, as I'm sure you can imagine. Just continuing to work on getting that copper in. So down here. That's gonna be steel going up there. I forgot to get samples of everything for the filters. <laughs> no, it's fine. I appreciate the advice. Yeah, it, it, I, I won't lie. It is tempting to try and work up a least one comparator for that diesel generator. It is very tempting. Oh, and glowstone. And glowstone. And did I poke the holes for all of those? Yes, I did. Okay, so steel, copper, redstone, glowstone. Steel. Copper. Redstone. And glowstone. I've searched around for that when I was first building the Coke oven. I couldn't find it. Like, I dug around the edges of the island and I just... I guess I was unlucky. I don't know. Maybe I'll search in my creative world between episodes and we'll see if we can find some. Regardless. I guess I'm also going to need an extraction pipe and a pulser. And I think I'm out of pulsers. Yep, I'm out of pulsers. So, have I got any engineering blocks? I really don't. All right, I don't have any redstone. Huzzah! Let's just, um, I should have at least one crate on me. Let's go pick up some redstone from our storage chest from the old crusher. Yeah, no, the Millionaire Village I can understand being different because um, depending on if you've cut them off from building, they can change where their buildings are positioned. Like, they will have to sometimes work around your constructions or they will have to... Um, 
they might just place buildings different for heaven knows what reason. They're a bit random. Hmm. No, I shouldn't put it right into the silo. Let's just put it in our using chest. Oops. There we go. And... Da, 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 da. Right. Redstone. Bunches of it. Copper. Iron. Mechanical components. I don't really have any. Huzzah. There we go. And more copper. And just build those NG blocks. That's good enough for now. I'm gonna need yet more components, which means I'm gonna need yet more iron plate, I imagine. Yep, it's looking like uh, I should have some components. There we go. There we go. All right. So next, I need my gears. Do I have any copper gears anywhere in here? I guess I don't. Need to melt a couple of gears. All right. Let's just get that going. All right, the steel. I forgot I had a bunch of steel in there. Let's let that empty out first. All right, so thankfully I already have some light engineering blocks in here so we can make some pistons real easy. And that too, yeah, all that. All right, so next I'm gonna need 32 cobble, a little bit of wood. And just make some pistones. JEI causes so much lag these days. And I imagine it's only going to get worse as I unlock more chapters. Next, we need to make redstone engines. Beauteous. Just chunk that into the carpenter where we use it most often. And then it just needs a little bit of a laser boop. Hmm. Maybe I should move that coke oven just so I can preserve a walkway on that side. And so quick. Oh, it's out of iron? Okay. That's easy to fix these days. Yup. Look at this. Look at this wonderful bullshit we have. It feels good to have automated resource feeds. And let's just get rid of that sheet metal too. Alright. I feel like that uh, when you reach an advanced enough age, the uh, weight system should turn off because at that point you're subverting it at every chance you can get anyway. Like you have so many means of getting around it, it should just stop existing. It just becomes kind of annoying when it bugs out and loses sync with reality, you know? Hmm. Maybe I should turn the distillery back on for a little while and let it drain a little bit further first. Okay, so I am going to need an extraction pipe. 
should have some on me, shouldn't I? Yeah, here we go. Okay, and that should be enough. So I'm just going to need to run the Utilidor over to where the new item... Ah, oh, yes, I'm also going to need an Iron Pipe or two, aren't I? When it joins in with the main logistics line. Let's just grab all of our Iron Pipes. All right, so, yeah, nothing for it. I think I need to break the line here and put the extraction pipe on it and then just, like, run it on over again. That should be able to. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's fine. It just crosses right on over. So then, the Utilidor is like right here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. And we can just block it off right here. And we've got a nice snug fit. Okay, so that is going to be a pulsar that is just always on. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have this one just always on. We won't we won't make any sort of signal automation on this until we switch to an a um excavator. Cause this is only gonna produce like a couple thousand copper or so. It won't even come close to filling up the silo. Alright. So then we can just run that one over. And yes, this is why we need iron pipe. Ah, good. It knows which way it needs to go. Excellent. All right. And from there, yep, just... Slap a pulsar on it. Did I already slap a pulsar on it? Slap the pulsar on. And that should be copper coming in. Well, yeah, but even when you have a jetpack, it's still going to be zooming in your view, isn't it? That's annoying. There we go. It just took a moment to get there. Yep, there we go. Uh, not just eventually. Jetpacks are technically a thing in the pack now. I can make the Project Red jetpack. Um, it would be a little bit of doing. Like these batteries are a lot of electrotene. This battery box is a lot more electrotene, a hardened casing, but it, it's doable. This is very doable. The only thing that's, it, it's again, it's another circuit plate, but this is a real shit jetpack. I've tried this in, um, in my creative world. Yeah. It keeps a charge for maybe 30 seconds. It, um, it'll like slingshot you around like, you hold it down for a few seconds and you go way up into the air and then you have to uh, struggle to, against your own inertia. It doesn't hover very well. It, it's just a real shit jetpack. And it, like I said, it only holds charge for 30 seconds. It has to be recharged with Electrotene in a Project Red Electrotene generator. It's just trouble. It's not worth it. So yeah, we're probably going to be waiting on advanced rocketry's jetpack. And advanced rocketry won't be for a couple of chapters. Let's see here. Yeah, after chapter six, 
chapter seven, I think, would open up the basics of advanced rocketry. Yeah. There's rocket assembling machine. There is, uh, yeah, the end of chapter seven would be where we start going to the moon. And I think chapter eight would be the advanced section of, so we won't be seeing a jetpack until like chapter seven, chapter eight. Let's just clean this up. All right, so we have wonderful, sweet, delicious copper coming in. And you know what? I am getting to the point that I'm going to need to go and make breakfast for the house pretty soon. So <clears throat> between episodes, I'll do a little bit of research into that sand thing. Maybe I'll go and excavate some up. Maybe not. Probably not. In the meantime, everyone, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Metallic, for coming in. I don't mind the backseat gaming. I just appreciate it as advice. So, I guess let's also go clean out our, uh, our pump jack box the rest of the way. Where did that thing go? So we got a bit accomplished today. We've got creosote oil, semi-automated. We've got a little bit of copper coming in. Next time, we're gonna be making a little bit of automated steel. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, nice to see you here. I always appreciate having new company. So everyone, have yourself a lovely day. Have yourself a beautiful evening. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the next time.